Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Risk Racing Easy 3 utility jug with the spout. And this is a three gallon utility jug that will allow you to transport your fluids safely and securely. This is constructed of an HDPE plastic, so it is going to be very durable. And I do want to let you know right from the start uh, that this does not meet the ASTM, EPA, ARB, and other official agencies' descriptions of a portable fuel container. So using this as a fuel container or a gas can may violate your state's laws. So you do want to check your state's laws uh, for legal requirements before you put any fuel inside here uh, but this will work great for your non-potable water your antifreeze engine oil gear oils hydraulic fluid transmission fluid that sort of thing uh, this does have the fluid level measurements molded on the front it's kind of hard to see with my camera there uh, but you are going to get the liters and the gallons so you can see how full it is make sure that you're going to have enough uh, for your trip this does have the hose bender spout that is constructed of a very durable hd pe rubber this is designed to stay flexible over time so unlike your clear tubes uh, that oftentimes become very uh, rigid over time this is going to stay nice and flexible for you this does have the aluminum cap up here at the top that's going to tighten down to ensure that, uh, that you're not going to spill any of your fluids during uh, transit. You can very easily uh, let that loose. You can see we've got an O-ring there that's going to make sure we have a nice tight seal. And this does have this uh, cable lanyard that's going to prevent us from losing our cap. But then as an additional benefit, we've got this hook down here that we can put the lanyard and uh, cap in. And that's going to create a nice consistent bend in our spout so we're not going to have to worry about uh, wrestling that to get it uh, put in place we're not going to have to worry about it flinging back uh, when we pull it out it's going to create a nice consistent uh, pouring uh, functionality for us we also have this stability hook here on the end and that's going to rest on the lip of your fill container to give you even more stability uh, while you're pouring our hose does have a three quarter inch threading that's going to uh, thread into the cap down here. So if I take that off for you, you can see how this is going to attach. When this uh, arrives, when you're taking it out of the box, the cap is going to have a plug inside of it. So uh, if you were wanting to transport this with the cap in place, you could just use that or you can unthread that and then put your spout in place you can see our spout does have this flange at the top of our threading and again another uh, nitrile o-ring that's going to ensure no leaks while you're transporting or while you're pouring so we can get that tightened down make sure that it's going to uh, stay nice and tight for us allowing no liquids to be lost this does have an ergonomic design. We've got three different handles here so that we can very easily control. We're not going to have to worry about losing our grip as we're pouring. On the, back, on the top handle here on the back side, we do have this aluminum breather that is going to allow us to control the venting. And this does not come loose. Uh, you won't be able to pull it out, so you don't have to worry about losing it. And again, that also has a a rubber o-ring so when we have it completely tightened down we're not going to have to worry about any spills coming out that way and it is far enough away from our spout that uh, even when we're pouring we're not going to have to worry about uh, fluid coming out of there either so uh, all around a, a great option here i'd give you a few dimensions with our spout in place while we're transporting uh, it's going to be sitting right about 27 inches tall our body oh let me give you the the cap height as well so if you do decide to take that off we're looking at approximately about 17 17 inches tall and then our body here if we don't include our spout it's right about 10 and a half inches if we do include our spout it's going to give us another couple inches so we'll call it 
about 12 and a half with the hose or the, the spout. And then our width was sitting about six and a half inches wide. Now, one little add-on uh, that I would highly recommend is going to be the uh, jug mount. So this will install on the floor of your van, trailer, or truck bed. It's going to give you a nice sturdy point of connection. Your jug will just fit right in place there. And then because this uh, mount is secured to your floor, you're not going to have to worry about your jug tipping over. Uh, so it gives you a lot of security there. But then we also have this hole here on the side that we can put a padlock through and that way no one can come along and take off with your jug. Uh, so just an extra add-on. We do sell separately here at eTrailer using the part number you see on the screen there. We also have kits available uh, that comes with the jug, the spout, and that mounting bracket. Uh, so if you are wanting all three, uh, it's probably a better deal to go with that one. Uh, but overall, this is going to be a great way to uh, transport and pour your fluids. Uh, so if you are wanting to, uh, again, not... Uh, fuel, but any of your other fluids, if you're wanting to take those along with you, uh, this is going to be a great way to go. That completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.